Okay, I'm starting the page 12 by 12. I have my picture. Four pieces of basic gray infused collection. My background's going to be a solid basil, like a taupe shade. And maybe I'll use these die cuts. Let's see what happens. Now, I don't know if you want to try this at home because it might be left better with an expert in which I just ripped the paper on the side, cut them into square, well, ripped them into squares, and I've arranged them. <laughs> now, I have to show you how fun this Fiskars punch is. This is the best part. Put the punches are kind of intimidating. Oh, they're too cool. You have to cut it so it's just where I want it to be. And get a lot of use out of the circles. Watch this. This is great. It's fun. <laughs> just pops out. And Too bad you couldn't do cookies that way. There you go. So that's where I'm starting. I don't know where the layout will end up. Here's my finished page. It only took me five or ten minutes. I do best when I don't think. I just do the page, which comes easy for me, not thinking. I used a journaling stamp, bottom leaves. Ghost Letters by Heidi Swap inked the edges. This is a foam American Crafts attached with a Seven Gypsies Brad. The gems, aren't they nice? I only used three pieces of paper from the Basic Gray and Fuse. I inked the edges with the Ancient Page. I used two greens. Probably can't tell on the video. And here's the rest of those letters. Lots of them left. So, have fun with your pages. Don't think.